Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today I've got a brand new style of video for you guys. It is a tier list. Um, yeah, that's how it is. First time doing a tier list on the channel. I think it'll be uh, a ton of fun. Uh, and here's what we're doing. We're doing the greatest EDM artists of all time, the top 50 EDM artists of all time, as voted on by this specific website, Ranker. Um, you can, it's like a crowdsource thing. So you can go in and you can upvote certain artists or downvote other artists and then it makes a top list. So we're gonna quickly go through the list and then we'll get to the uh, tier list just so you know who everyone is and you can see the photos and familiarize yourself and maybe even complain about why people are in certain spots. But uh, number one is Avicii, Martin Garrix, Kygo, Daft Punk, Calvin Harris, Elenium, Zed, Swedish House Mafia, David Guetta, Armin Van Buren, Marshmello, Diplo, Dead Mouse, DJ Snake, Tiesto, Alan Walker, Steve Aoki, Flume, Galantis, Odessa, Cashmere, Porter Robinson, Skrillex, Major Lazer, Alesso, Axel Ingro Ing Ingrosso, Hardwell, The Chainsmokers, Cascade, Rehab, Bass Nectar, Griffin, Dylan Francis, Don Diablo, Flux Pavilion, Afrojack, Knife Party, Nicky Romero, Above and Beyond, Cruella, Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, Axwell, Benny Benassi, Maddion, Eric Prides, Zed's Dead, Seven Lions, Nero, Clean Bandit, and Disclosure. And the ones that didn't quite make the list, Jack U, Alice Wonderland, Slushy, 53, C by RL, Grime, Show Tech. So those are the ones that didn't make it, but... So let's go to the actual thing I have made. I have made a tier list on the good old tiermaker.com. Uh, so that will be in the description below if you want to make your own tier list. Uh, the things are in alphabetical order uh, and there's a link to the um, the images uh, in the thing just so you, you can confuse because some of them are a little obscure here and there. Uh, but yeah, this is the top 50 EDM artists. So here's, uh, I'm just doing S, A, B, C, D tier. Uh, the way I'm going to decide this is going to be a little... It's a little wishy-washy, so it's not, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be straight, like, the best artist. It's not going to be the best songs. It's not going to be, like, the, whatever, like, my uh, objective opinion on, um, no, subjective opinion. Um, wait, I can't remember which is which. <laughs> Forget it. Um, it, it. It's just going to be my own opinion on, it's not going to be necessarily that. It's going to be a little bit of that, obviously, but I think it's going to be more so of what they've done for the EDM scene as a whole and how important their involvement in EDM has been. So a bit of how good their music is, how much music they've produced, how long they've been in the game, uh, their history and their legacy in the EDM industry, a lot of stuff like that. Um, and there's a few artists I don't f know a ton of. Uh, I know them all for the most part, but not really a ton of. Um, and so I will uh, I will do my best to give justice to uh, all artists here. But um, without any further ado, let's hop into it. First up, Above and Beyond. Um, I'm going to put them in a, probably a B tier. There's, I think I know where a lot of things are going to stand. There's a lot of obviously like house producers in here or commercial house producers and I think a lot of them are going to stay in this like kind of relatively C-ish tier. Um, but we'll see. Above and beyond, a little more intriguing than your average kind of producer. I'm actually surprised they're on this list. Um, so, yeah, fun. Uh, Afrojack. I believe this is Afrojack. <laughs> I don't have the actual names on any of these. Um, but uh, Afrojack is one of the artists that got me into EDM. That being said, their stuff still isn't insanely the best thing in the world. They've been here for a long time. They do have a big stay and they've been a pioneer and kind of being on the EDM scene for so long. I would give them like a high B tier. So I think I will organize within the, um, within the tier. So it'll be like a top 50 list for myself. Um, <laughs> next up, uh, Alan Walker. Um, yeah, so this is a tough one because Alan Walker is such a big name now. He's been around for a decent amount of time, uh, but I really feel like he hasn't done a whole ton for the EDM industry in a really positive light, um, but it's hard to disagree that he hasn't been a force of nature in some capacity uh, within, within the EDM world, so I am going to give him a C tier. Uh, <laughs> he's just like he's... I know all these people are obviously very popular and some more than others, but he's, he's had an impact on stuff. He's really had an impact on stuff. And so I, uh, I, I got to give him some credit. I believe next is, uh, oh, Alesso. Up next is a Lesso. Um, I don't know a ton of Alesso. Um, I know his stuff is pretty mid, I would say. So I'm going to put him at the bottom of B for now. Uh, his stuff is kind of your classic commercial house. I feel like there's not a ton else to it. Um, but uh, we'll put a lesso there. 
Armin Van Buren is similar in that sense, but I think he's a little bit more popular and is a little bit more in the kind of house genre of stuff. He's been a huge pioneer for stuff uh, over in Europe. And so I'm going to put him high B, I would say high B. He's, he's close to a, not quite. There's a little bit more of my bias coming in here. Um, but, uh, that, oh gosh, uh, Avicii, um, I am going to cause a bit of a riot here. We'll see. Uh, I think he's just an A tier. I don't think Avicii is is the best of the best. I don't think he's um, he's done a lot for the EDM world, um, but I just don't think his 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 stuff was great. Um, but I just don't think he was like the, he wasn't like a super pioneer. Maybe my my categorization for S is just going to be so high that no one can really reach it. Um, but I just think he's he's fantastic. His legacy is amazing. He's done a ton, but it just part of it. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know. I'm I'm talking myself into putting him S. I think I'm going to leave him for A for now. But I I love his stuff. He's just not quite like the the like the the best. EDM artist of all time, I would say. Um, so that's just me. Uh, Axel and Grosso, uh, similar, I guess. I'm putting a lot of these house guys in uh, in B, more or less because um, I like their stuff and I'm not like crazy about it. Uh, so I'm going to put them, I think, just above, above and beyond. Sorry, yeah. I, uh, I listened to a decent amount of their stuff, not a ton, um, but they've got some pretty proper stuff. Uh, and Axwell, I think, will be pretty similar here. I think he's going to put them at... Um, actually I might put him in C. I haven't loved his stuff that I've heard in the past. Um, so I think I'm going to put him at a high C. Um, yeah. And maybe that's just because I haven't listened to a ton of Axwell in, in, in the past, but from my experiences, uh, bass nectar, uh, I'm surprised bass nectar is on this list, but here he is. Um, interesting one here. Uh, this is one of the artists where I think has come around and, and, and created a very unique sound, but hasn't been around for like, hasn't had the huge impact on the EDM scene as some of these other artists have. Um, like the amount of people that would know Calvin Harris versus Bass Nectar is crazy. Um, and so his stuff was good for the time. I don't know if it's been a ton better as of late. He hasn't been, he was very an early adopter to EDM or to dubstep stuff. And so he was, he was big with that, but I don't think he's done a ton since. So uh, I'm going to put him at the top of C. So Sorry, Bass Nectar. Uh, this next one is... Oh, Benny Benassi. Okay, was, this is just a weird photo, but... Uh, Benny Benassi. Uh, hmm. So this is another interesting one where he was kind of like Avicii, where they were both getting really popular on the same point and uh, really came in and had some great tunes and some great ideas for the EDM scene and helped it grow, uh, but really hasn't stuck around a whole ton and or is not really that popular nowadays. Um, so I'm going to throw him in B... Uh, and I'm going to say behind Afrojack is where I'm going to put him. So he's going to be there. Calvin Harris. Uh, I'm I'm actually a pretty big Calvin Harris fan. Uh, I think he was, there's a few like, I want to say elite guys or really, really popular guys in like the early or like mid early 2010s that really took EDM and made it mainstream and, and, and really popularized the genre. Calvin Harris, David Guetta, I think Avicii's technically on there. Um, Diplo's a little bit newer than that. Uh, Dead Mouse, yeah. So there's just like those kind of guys, and so I, I was a huge fan of Calvin Harris though at the point. Um, so I would put him high B. I'm gonna put him above. I'm gonna put him above uh, Armin Van Buren. I'm gonna put him here. Uh, okay. Up next is Clean Bandit. Uh, I I don't know much of Clean Bandit. I really don't. Um, so I I I feel bad putting them anywhere, but I feel like I need to just fill out the whole list. I've heard a few songs of theirs. Um, I'm going to put him at the bottom of B. The stuff I heard was, it was, I felt it was fairly like your kind of basic commercial stuff. So that's, that's, that's just me. I may be totally wrong. Uh, oh, Daft Punk, uh, Daft Punk. That's your S. That is your S hundred percent. He is your S through and through. No question about it. Um, S tier. He, or he, they, um, are the EDM artists. They are, they've been around for so long. Um, their albums have been phenomenal. Uh, they, a lot of artists, when you hear them say, oh, like, who was your inspiration? So many of them say Daft Punk. So many say Daft Punk. So he's, they've got to go S. So yeah. Uh, David Guetta, uh, <laughs> interesting one because, um, a lot of pop music, 
Uh, not really loved by the EDM community, but loved a lot by the people outside of the EDM community, people that just like the like the poppy stuff. Um, and so he's 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 a very well known name, uh, but hasn't done a real t- like EDM people would be like, oh frick, it's David Guetta again. Um, so his stuff I definitely think was better in the past. Um, but I am gonna put him in B. Uh, I don't think he's better than I'm gonna put him behind Afrojack. Yeah, I'm gonna put him behind Afrojack. So Dead Mouse. Uh, Dead Mouse is A for me, uh, behind Avicii. Uh, Dead Mouse is a lot of these artists do very similar stuff, uh, but Dead Mouse is one of the ones that kind of does does very different things. Like if you look at this whole list, um, what artist sticks out to you the most? Well, I would actually say Flume, uh, but after Flume, I would say Dead Mouse uh, in terms of just the variety of music you're looking at, um, the the focus on the ambient atmosphere of tracks, and so I'm I'm a huge fan of of Dead Mouse, so he's gonna go in A tier. Um, yeah, and a lot of people have learned how to uh, make music from him with his masterclass. Dylan Francis. Uh, Dylan Francis. Hmm, he <laughs> he's an interesting one. Uh, I'm going to put him in C. Uh, I think he's going to go behind Bass Nectar. Um, he, his stuff is just, like, it's, it's, it was popular. It's commercially. It was trappy. He he kind of was on that upswing of of with like Diplo and um like well I would say Jack U that kind of era of 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 EDM music um and so he was big at that point but uh, his stuff isn't really that great uh, in my opinion. Up next is Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, uh, another one I don't know a ton about. Um and so I I've listened to a few other things. It it is kind of your basic commercial from from my understanding i haven't done deep dive into a lot of these guys so don't don't kill me for these uh but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna put them at the end to be um just, uh, i'm gonna put them above clean bennett though so there we go uh diplo uh oh gosh another interesting one um <laughs> uh diplo so popular now has produced so much stuff has just pumps out projects um but they're not like the greatest. There's, there's really not a ton going on in, in his tracks. But he's 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 a big name uh, in in the world of EDM. So uh, I am gonna put him in B. I think I'm gonna put him above Dimitri Vegas and like Mike. Is yeah, maybe even like higher. Like he's he's. I would say Diplo's like the modern day like David Guetta. So you know what? I'll put him. I'll put him here. No, 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 behind Benny Benassi. Uh, Disclosure. Disclosure is another A for me. I'm a huge Disclosure fan. Again, this is some of where some of the um, subjectivity comes in. Um, and uh, I cannot remember the difference between subject, subjective and objective. But I think subjective. Yeah, it's my subjectivity. Uh, I think they're great. Um, they're, in terms of what they did for the... the I want to say deep house, lounge house style of music. They've been fantastic. Uh, their albums have been great. They've won tons of awards. So they're they're popular. They do pop music. They've put out a decent amount of stuff, and they're like they're good. So they kind of have the whole package. Um, so they're not like I would say a lot of these artists have like fairly basic tracks um, with a few standouts. Uh, Disclosure has a ton of standout tracks, so that's why I would do that. Uh, DJ Snake, uh, DJ Snake, I felt like really hasn't done a whole ton for the industry um he's just kind of puts his name in a lot of stuff so i i would put him probably right behind dylan francis um i just feel like his stuff is i don't know i've i've never really thought of him as anything special don diablo uh (laughs) interesting one uh i'm gonna put don diablo top of c uh i i do like his stuff personally um i like it more than some of the other commercial house edm things i mean does a lot more deep kind of future house but uh i don't know it's it's just it's it's so basic it's like when i think of like the most basic edm in the world i think of don diablo so he's in c eric prides uh is someone i would say similar to benny benassi in terms of kind of helped the house scene grow in the early stages with alongside of ichi um but hasn't done a whole ton as of late um, so I'm gonna, I think he's a bit better than Benny Benassi. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him top of B. Um, I think he deserves top of B. I think he's, he's been kind of a background guy for a long time, but I think he's, I think he's great. Uh, Flume, uh, Flume is an interesting one. I, I love, love Flume. Uh, but I don't know if his stuff has been so game changing in terms of like looking at some of these other artists like is he a zervan is he in the same realm as avici disclosure and dead mouse 
Um, I would say not. So I actually am going to put him just in second B. Uh, his stuff is was great for the future base scene. He's he's done a ton of um, pioneering in that specific subgenre of EDM. But for now, uh, we'll see. I think he needs a couple more years um, just to be a mainstay like Disclosure, Dead Mouse, or uh, Avicii have been. Flux Pavilion, uh, an interesting one. Um, I hmm, I think I'm gonna put Flux Pavilion. C somewhere in C. I his stuff's no actually. Hmm. I'm gonna put him. Okay, this might be a little. This might be a little. I'm gonna put him pretty low here. Flux William. Here's why. I think if I can't stop doesn't go popular. Like if if that song never. <clears throat> excuse me. If I can't stop never goes popular. I think he's he's a nobody. Sadly, I think that song made him and made his career. Uh, and I think he just resorts off of that one track. His newer stuff, I like. I like. I enjoy his his newer album, Dot Wave. I I, I enjoyed a decent amount. Um, but I just don't think he's. I don't think he's nearly as big as these names. If I can't stop exists. So Galantis is next though, uh, and Galantis is another one that I really enjoy. I really do like Galantis. Um, but their stuff really isn't so. They really haven't done anything new. Um, they haven't done anything incredible. So I'm gonna put them top a C. Uh, but I like their stuff quite a bit. I, I really do. And Griffin is next. Um, the poor man's Elenium in my version. Uh, I don't think he is. I think he's literally just a poor man's Elenium. So that's that's. Yeah. Uh, and I am gonna put him in C behind Dylan Francis. Um, I just I think Griffin's there. Hardwell, uh, another artist I don't know a ton about, but I know their stuff is. Uh, really popular over in Europe uh, and that kind of dance scene. Um, but uh, I'm going to put bottom of B. Bottom of B for Hardwell. That one's, yeah. I don't know a ton, but I know a decent amount to give him, I think, at least a B. Uh, and then Elenium. Uh, Elenium's here. Uh, Elenium's definitely better than Griffin. Uh, and he's been very much a mainstay uh, in modern EDM. He's probably one of the biggest modern names, uh, if not the biggest um, actual like, full EDM producer. Uh, so I'm going to put him in B, um, and I think his stuff is, he's got worse, I think, over time, uh, but I'm going to put him just behind Benny Benassi. Uh, so that's, I'm a huge fan of Lenium, or at least his older stuff, um, but yeah. Uh, Cascade, uh, Cascade also, that's another name similar with um, uh, Avicii and uh, I can't remember the other house because I was saying, oh, Eric Pride's Benny Benassi, um, of, of just kind of paving a way for house music to exist and flourish. Uh, and so he's, he's, he's great. He's been very consistent and he's been pumping out stuff consistently for years and years and years. So, uh, I'm going to put him just behind Calvin Harris. He doesn't have that much of star power, uh, compared to some of the other artists, but, uh, I do think he's great. Uh, up next is, uh, Knife Party. Uh, this is, uh, they're, they're really great. Um, but I mean, they came and did what, like really one album and then a couple EPs and really haven't done much. Did they do? Yeah, I think they, it was just one album. That was it. Um, so they're like, I love them. I think they're great, uh, but their staying power and stuff just hasn't been a ton. So I'm going to put them bottom. Oh, this is a tough one. Uh, I'm going to put them in low B. The stuff that they've produced, I think is great. Um, but they're, it's just, they just haven't done enough, I think. And they're just, yeah. Cruella. Uh, Cruella, I'm surprised Cruella was on this list, honestly. Um, I, their stuff is, is not bad. Uh, it's very poppy, very trappy. Uh, but I just think they don't have a ton of, we're talking grand scheme of things. I don't think they have a ton of, uh, so much star power and so much, um, influence on everything so uh i'm gonna put them c i'm gonna put them behind griffin i think uh cashmere uh i'm not a huge fan of cashmere i know a lot of people really do like him uh but i just don't see him his stuff being anything crazy uh and i would actually put him just behind griffin again and in front of cruella uh kaigo is next um Another one, lots of lots of star power, but really not the greatest in grand scheme of stuff. And he's pretty much produced the same song since like 2013. Uh, but he is quite popular, and he is the whatever pioneer of of uh, tropical house, and has done that a ton. So uh, above Galantis, 
below Galantis? No, I'm going to put him... I think these three are very similar. Galantis, Kaigo, and Don Diablo, all in their respective kind of commercial house, tropical house, deep house, all this kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to put him here. Uh, Maddion! I would love, I would love, love to put Maddion in A tier. I love his stuff. It is so fantastic. Um, but uh, he just doesn't have that much star power. Has only really done two albums, and that's it. Um, so I think in terms of taking everything into account, uh, I would say he is, he's, his stuff is so good though. Um, I'm going to put him above Afrojack. No, I'm going to above oh, Armin Van Buren. Uh, Major Lazer, uh, next. Um, yeah, similar. Uh, a lot of those things are kind of similar here. They've done a lot of stuff for, <laughs> Uh, they were in that middle period. That was what, I mean, obviously Diplo is a part of Major Lazer, but um, Diplo, Major Lazer, uh, who's the other person? Uh, Dylan Francis, they were all big in that kind of um, mid, early 2010s. Uh, and their stuff was okay. Um, I think it's still better than at least like Galantis and had more staying power than I think they did. Um, so I'm going to put them sadly, no, not sadly, just below Knife Party. Knife Party's great. Haven't done a ton. Major Lazer's okay. Has done a ton, so... Uh, Mr. Marshmallow, uh, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, uh, he's, he's, he's D tier. Um, I, I, I think Marshmallow gets so much more hate than he deserves, but in terms of the grand scheme of this list, Marshmallow hasn't made a ton of like really great songs. Um, he's got a few big hits that are, are solid, but nothing like, oh my gosh, this is like one of the best EDM songs ever. Um, and I think a lot of these artists have at least one or two tracks that would be in the running for something like that uh and then he just hasn't really done anything for the industry like he's just a popular name and has been recycling kind of tracks and motifs and ideas and um he's just yeah he's just he, he's done nothing for the EDM, edm industry i think he's i like the dude um i like his stuff but just his music's not great especially his last album but Martin Garrix. Uh, Martin Garrix is another a uh i want to actually put him uh above dead mouse um, just because his stuff isn't, was, wasn't as, uh, critically acclaimed. Um, but it's hard to <laughs> deny the success of even like animals and some of his other huge tracks and how big he was for the, the rising of EDM as a whole. So, and he's still, still around, uh, up next Nero, uh, I'm a huge Nero fan. Uh, I would say similar to knife party where they haven't done a whole ton of stuff, but what they did was great. Uh, but I did think they're actually better than Knife Party. So I'm going to put them above Dimitri, above... I actually, I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them here. I think they're a lot more underrated than people say. So I am going to put them just below Illenium. Uh Nikki Romero, uh, another one that I don't know a ton about. Um, I, I, well, I actually have heard of quite a bit of their songs. And they're, I feel like they're a lot of just recycling commercial stuff nowadays. But uh, So I'm going to put them... I'm going to put Nikki Romero close, right behind Hardwell, I would say. Uh, Odessa, Odessa, another one just like Madion, where I would love to put them as high as I want. I, they're one of my favorite artists of all time, uh, but they're just, they don't have that star incredible power that some of the other artists have had here and their stuff has been good, but not a ton of it and haven't been around that long. Uh, so I'm going to put them, uh, in just below Diplo. Diplo is just is so much bigger of a name. Uh, and so there's, I'm trying to take everything into account here, so. Uh, is this Porter Robinson? Porter Robinson. Uh, this is tough. Um, this is tough. I'm going to put him at the end of A. Uh, here's the thing. When I'm, I've talked about this before, but he's his stuff was so transformational, um, like Worlds was, and what he was doing at the time. Even though he didn't do a ton, he what he did was so, so amazing. Uh, and then did Virtual Self for a little bit. And then with his last album, Nurture, um, he shows that he hasn't, He's not have a ton of music in the grand scheme of discography compared to some of these other artists. What he's done has been transformative uh, for the EDM scene. So uh, he's going to go at the end of A. Rehab is next. Uh, I'm actually going to put them below um, <laughs> Alan Walker. Uh, Rehab is just uh, doing all these big pop mixes and really isn't adding a ton to the EDM scene. So that's why uh, that's why Rehab's going here. 
Um, Seven Lions, uh, another interesting one uh, where he, I don't really know why he's on this list. I i was shocked. I knew Seven Lions was big, but I didn't expect he was this big. Uh, he's very similar to uh, Do- or Flux Pavilion for me. So I'm going to put him right behind Flux Pavilion. Mr. Big Man, Skrillex. Um, I, I am, I am, this may be a controversial take, but S tier. Skrillex, S for Skrillex. Um, Skrillex, I, I'm using the word pioneer a lot because I'm trying to describe them as pioneers, but he is one of the biggest names ever. He's like the EDM guy that you think of. It's all your grandparents think of, oh, the Skrillex guy. Um, and so he's just, he did so much for the industry. He's been around for so long. He's, um, we'll see how this next album goes, uh, that hopefully he's dropping this year. Uh, but, uh, he hasn't, he hasn't produced a ton of music under his own stuff, but what he's done for the scene is it's marvelous. Uh, Steve Aoki, D tier, <laughs> from S to D. Uh, Steve Aoki, big name, uh, f- fun songs he produces, but all the stuff he produces is not great. And he's collabing with a bajillion people right now on a, min- on a million different things. And he's just, I feel like he's just... He's just pumping out. He's he's the definition of of quantity over quality, and I do not like that personally. Uh, and I just don't think he's had a huge stay in just the the EDM scene. Like I just don't see him being that much of a pioneer compared to some of these other people. So uh, that's why he's there. Uh, Swedish House Mafia, uh, interesting one because they're. I don't know if they would be. I don't know how new. The, obviously, this list it can be is rated all the time. You can go and do it now. But uh, I don't know how much they've grown since they've come back, uh, like since how much they've gone off this list since they've um, kind of had this comeback of sorts. Uh, so we'll see how this album goes, this next album cycle goes, but uh, they just haven't been around for so time, uh, for a time. They they did help with the kind of um, big room house, uh, progressive house style of the early or late 2000s. But yeah, didn't really stay a ton, didn't do it a real lot. So I am going to put them sadly in C. Uh, but I'll put them on the top of C. We'll see how the next album goes. Uh, the Chainsmokers. You are also going in D. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I'm going to put them on the top of D. Chainsmokers have... Um, <laughs> I really don't think they should be classified as EDM uh, for the most part. They just do... They're just pop with an EDM twist or a flair. Uh, they, they use the most simple musical elements just to make most popular tracks. And so I get that. There is a need for that. There is a purpose for that. Um, but they're just like, they're a lot like Steve Aoki Marshmallow where they just really not adding a whole ton, um, to the, the world of EDM music. Um, and they're very disliked by the EDM music industry, which kind of sucks because when you're in that industry and people, these people, I really don't like the chain smokers, I think for the most part. So it's, it's tough. It's tough. Uh, Tiesto, uh, Tiesto, big name, uh, big dude. Uh, he's been around for a long time, a, a veteran in the game. Uh, and I'm going to put him actually uh, in B uh, above Calvin Harris. I think he's a uh, big name has, has done a lot of, a lot of good for EDM. And last two, Zed and Zed's dead. Uh, Zed, very similar to Madion, um, has done some stuff uh, and the stuff's great, but hasn't really done a whole ton as of late. Um, I know he's, I know he's been doing some more things, but like he's really only had what one album, I think technically. So Zed, I'm going to put uh, in B. I'm going to put them behind Knife Party and ahead of Major Laser. And Zed's dead. Another uh, list, or another person I kind of, I'm shocked they're on this list. Um, they're a lot more modern uh, of an artist, uh, but Zed's dead. I really like them. I like them quite a bit, but I just don't know if they have as much star power compared to some of these other artists here. So I'm going to put them, I think, just at the low end of B. So uh, that's my list. That is my list. My top 50 EDM artists of all time. Uh, what do you guys think of this list? Uh, let me know what you guys, yeah, in the comment section below. Also, do do your thing. Do do this tier list. I'd love to see what you guys think about. Um, I would love to hear your guys' lists. Uh, share them uh, on YouTube if you can. Uh, and if you want to, put them in the Discord. But um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what other kind of tier list I should do. If I should at all, if you thought this video was horrible, um, you can let me know that too. Uh, but without any further ado, I'm Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.